Uh, and also, Kevin had his dad's credit card, so yeah, and he that helped. Yeah, the plaza. Yeah. The suite, which you could do the home alone experience at that hotel during yeah. Christmas. Yeah. If you, you have that? thousands of dollars. And, or your dad's credit card. <laughs> well, I guess you just got to steal your parents' credit card next Christmas, no. right, uh, Hannah? <laughs> Yeah, super easy to do. They'll never notice. It, you'll get away with it for sure, just like Kevin did. Oh, wait. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get away with it, but it'd be cool. <laughs> Hopefully they put him up in a five-star hotel in Puerto Rico. But looking really nice outside today. We do have a little bit of wispy upper-level cloud cover. Much cooler, though. We had a cold front roll through. Those temperatures around 5 to 15 degrees cooler than this time yesterday. So noticeably chilly, and it was a chilly start. Many of us still in the 30s on the North Shore. 38 in Hammond, low 40s in Slidell, even south of the lake, we're in those mid-40s. So a very cool day, but we have a change coming. It's not going to get that much warmer, but it is going to get wetter as we go throughout this week. We're tracking the storm system starting to form there across the desert southwest. Not a lot of rain activity yet, but as this moves to the east, we're going to see a lot of rainfall into tomorrow morning. Now, right now, water vapor showing where that upper level low pressure system is. You can see it swirling counterclockwise. We look for the area where those winds are going in different directions. So right here is where that rainfall is. That's going to head our way, and we'll start to see some rain by even late tonight. You can see those showers. This is not really storm activity. It's mostly just rounds of rainfall. Even through tomorrow morning, we could see a heavy downpour or two, so that will cause maybe minor street flooding. But it looks like most of the storminess is down to the south of us. So that's good news, but it's going to be persistent rain, a very dreary start to the day all the way through the morning commute. So by the time we get to the afternoon, maybe we have some lingering showers on the back end, but it should start to clear out a little bit. We'll see more of the sunshine. But with those Rain showers all morning long and mostly cloud cover. It's going to keep us cool. Then the sun will return briefly on Thursday before we see our next weather system setting up. So in terms of rainfall totals, this is not going to be a flooding scenario. We could get some isolated higher totals than this, but it looks like mainly up to an inch widespread. But the storm pattern is not over with that rain chance tomorrow morning. We have multiple storm systems coming through this week. We also are looking at severe weather threats with some of these systems. So here's the one moving through tomorrow. That's number one. That's going to move off to the east. We might see some snow for our friends up to the north. But this is a more potent system on Friday. This looks to be Friday in the evening hours into really early Saturday. This could be severe weather, but mainly looking like a flooding scenario for us. And we could see maybe some snow again up to the north. But the most potent system that we're watching is the third system. This comes into play for the start of the week. So the weekend looks clear. This is Monday into Tuesday. This is an, is an incredibly strong weather system. This we're looking for a severe threat. Flooding might be an issue. And this could be blizzard conditions for our friends to the north. So multiple rounds of storms coming through that morning rain tomorrow, evening storms for the end of the week. And then we have that storm system for Monday. We already have a flood potential outlined for the system coming through Friday. So this is really going to be the flooding risk. I don't think tomorrow is too much of a concern for the flooding. And you can see over the next seven days, we get maybe up to five inches of rain in some areas. And if it's not tomorrow, it's going to be those two consecutive systems. And we already have a severe weather threat outlined for Monday. That's on day seven. It's very rare to see those severe weather outlooks issued that far in advance. So this is already a strong system that we're watching for. So cooler temperatures are going to linger with this rainfall, even those low 60s into the weekend. But then we'll kind of start to warm up. But we know the more heat we have ahead of those systems, it can lead to them being more potent. So by the beginning of next week, that's what we're watching for. But tomorrow morning during everyone's commute, they're going to be dealing with rain. Yes, tomorrow is just going to be run-of-the-mill rain showers. It is going to last through the morning, though. So I think some minor street flooding is possible. Not a widespread flooding event. It's just going to be a really dreary start to the day. Mm. All right. All right, Hannah, thanks we'll so much. we be prepared for that. Thank you. All right, uh, time's now 930.